Hi, when I got this um, Yehua 853D, uh, the rework side of it, um, the temperature was significantly out. I've got another one of these as well. And this is just my upgrade because the other one, the power supply blew and I couldn't be bothered fixing it. Um, but the other one's rework was ideal. So immediately when I got this one and started using it for rework, I noticed that the um, temperature was, in this particular case, far too low. So I'll just quickly show you what I've had to do. Um, Firstly, you do need a temperature um, meter, and many of the modern multimeters have got a, a K-type temperature probe, and these things can sit quite happily at the nozzle of the rework station to do the measuring. I'll just put that down there so we can get a better look at it. So that little, that little bit there, you just put that in the nozzle of the rework station, I wouldn't recommend going anything over 300 degrees Celsius. Okay, so what needed to be tweaked was make sure, by the way, that the mains is turned off. I'm really impressed with this new 853D that um, they've actually almost seemed to have got their safety act together. The earlier ones, they had no idea of safety, a main safety. They've got their phase in their neutral because we're in New Zealand. They got phase and neutral on the right poles. Sometimes they put the neutral onto the ground of the of the case. That's what they used to do. But in actual fact, this one the earth is grounded to the case. Um, so I guess this is a quick review too of the safety of it. Um, they put a, a ground here, and they've got another ground over here. Um, and the circuit board is a, um, a really a lot higher quality than the earlier models. So the pot that you tweak is this one here. There's two. I, I'm, I'm presuming this is the soldering iron one. I've got to calibrate the soldering iron yet. So in my case, because the temperature was too low, I turned this um, just as an experiment. I turned it uh, a couple of times and measured the... Excuse the mess. By putting the thermocouple... Um, there, just in the, on the output of the um, heat gun. Um, I've only got one arm, so I can't do it at the moment, but you hold the couple and the heat gun together and while it's running, and it heats up fairly quickly, and you can get a pretty accurate idea of what the temperature at the tip is and that's pretty well what you want so after turning this a couple of times uh, the temperature did yes it went up so um, what I found was that the temperature gradients in this machine are not linear um, so at I sort of set it up for a, a basically a rework temperature of 300 degrees on the front panel and um, at the tip, if it was sitting around 300 degrees, and when I take it back down to about 150 degrees here, um, it's actually sitting more like 180, 190 degrees. But um, as far as I know, you can't do anything with that. I don't think there's any other calibration. So basically, to calibrate it this way, clockwise to increase, anti-clockwise to decrease. So I hope that's been of help to you guys, and um, catch you later. God bless.